quick shout out to our sponsors, guys. We want to thank, uh, first of all, Chimera Coffee for giving us that sweet goodness. Yeah. We don't get them to sponsor us because they're eh. They're okay. They're fart coffee. Yeah, yeah. We get them because they're delicious, yeah. man. It gets us going. It that gets sweet, us sweet brown nectar. With that sweet nectar of the gods. Yes. The Egyptian gods. Dominican gods in this the case. The Dominican gods. Yes. Ya tu sabe. Go to... In- <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> Call me dot com and type in the coupon code show the art uh, and get some you discounts. Get a su- you get a sweet discount. Yeah. Right? Uh, Save some money. Stop saying um. Uh... And you could you could say it. I said uh, not um. What's it's a cousin. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna give a shout out now to Inverted, Inverted Gear. Gear. Go to invertedgear.com. Cop that panda. Panda, panda, pan, mm. pan, pan. You get that gi, rash guard, shorts, jujitsu gear out the wazoo. It's freaking dope, man. Yeah. So uh go there, invertedgear.com, get type the in the freshies. coupon code show the art fifteen one uh-huh. five, and you will save fifteen mother percent dollars, baby. Oh wait, yeah. Sucker. Yeah, you save. Yeah. So get it. Get it, guys. And, uh, you know, as always, you won't miss out. Yeah. And thanks for thanks for uh, being a part of this and listening and being on this journey with us. And, you Don't know. Get all sentimental oh, now. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we out. No, we're not out. Enjoy the show. Oh, yeah. Are live, ladies and gentlemen. We are here, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, guys? I'm doing my best Ames impression today. <laughs> Welcome to the Show the Art podcast. We, uh, I, we are your hosts. <laughs> I'm Ames, and this is my partner Abe. I mean, uh, opposite of what I just said. Uh, welcome to the show, guys. You know, if you like us on iTunes, please subscribe to us on Facebook. So we're done already. I'm just Why are you doing my best that Ames impression. That's the worst, man. <laughs> Come on, Jabroni. What's going on, guys? You're listening to the show, the Art Podcast. Abe, my brother from another mother. What up? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you? Good, man. Um, we were just. I'm pretty psyched up. Uh, for today, we didn't get to to podcast yesterday. So I want to talk about a lot of stuff. Let's well, I was it. just eager. Let's get right into it. Okay. Yeah, that UFC fight. Fight night? Fight night Oof. was banging. Yes. I will, I actually, I was just telling Abe, I woke up just in time to watch the main event. I don't know what, we were watching The Revenant. Ah, Dude, that was a movie. really good yeah, movie, really good man. Movie. That was a really good movie. Really long. But like the way they, uh, what is it, cin- cinematography? What do you call that? Like, CGI? The, no, like just the way they oh, yeah, yeah, captured everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, the beautiful ne- landscapes. Yeah. You know what reminded me of? Um, One of those shows. You ever watch True Detective? Yeah, I saw the first season. The first season. Remember that when they took that that one scene where they followed them through the projects of Houston? Mm. They're just running around and you see like yeah. chaos. And it just looks like like a controlled chaos where it's like scripted but not but it doesn't look like it kind of thing that's what it looked like or like felt it looks like. very real yeah, yeah man it was pretty dope man really was, good i'm, man, I'm yeah. really glad i got to see it and there was times where it was very peaceful to watch absolutely right? man yeah yeah but so then intense it moments. took you it took you for a ride man so it was good so i was i was yeah i was tired how many times did that guy fall off a cliff poor dude man <laughs> poor poor leo <laughs> Poorly at the time. Worst he, luck in any movie ever. Yeah, it, well, I felt, he was a pretty. He was pretty g'd up when he he cut that horse open. Oh yeah, and then took everything out and, and slept, slept inside. In I was yeah. like, oh so man, it's pretty smart. But that's I'm going nasty. to use that. Yeah, I, I can't wait to do that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now that we've gotten that. Out of the <laughs> now that we have that on the side. Very good movie though. If if. You were on the fence about watching it. Definitely go watch it. Yeah, the man. Revenant. Uh, a lot of people were saying, like, uh, Charisse, my, my wife, was saying, like, oh, you actually might fall asleep because it's, like, it's not one of those, like, there's not a lot of dialogue, which there wasn't. Yeah, well, I mean, there was a good amount of dialogue, but a lot of times it's, like, movie. So she thought I wasn't going to Three hour it, movie. Dude, I, I liked it a lot, like, from beginning to end. Mm. I dug it a lot. Yeah. But, yeah, man, so uh, I don't know how I got into this. Oh. Well, you said you fell asleep at the end. I, I fell asleep, and then I woke up just in time, like, towards, like, the middle, woke up, and then after that, I was just in time for the main event, mm-hmm. which was uh, Ferguson versus Dos Anjos. Yes. Which was a crazy fight, man. Crazy What were your fight. thoughts on Insane. it? Insane. Well, first of all, look at this picture right here. Look at this picture of Rafael Dos Anjos. Tell yeah. me that's not a spinning image of my body right there. No, no. Um, scroll down. Okay. Look for Roy and Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> or BJ Penn. <laughs> yeah, BJ yeah, Penn. yeah, you know you do have a memory. You look yeah. like a BJ Penn. Uh, like Eddie Alvarez or <laughs> like Eddie BJ Alvarez. BJ Penn when he fought Le- uh, Leota Machida. All right. Ta- you have to pick one. I have I look like 
I look most similar to one of these guys. You want a JJ? Either Rafael dos Anjos, nope. Eddie Alvarez, or Jose Aldo. You got to pick one. Okay, if I had to pick one, do they have an like an ugly brother that looks like <laughs> the complete opposite of either of them? No, it's it's one or the other. It's either RDA, Eddie Alvarez, or Jose Aldo. How about Antonio Silva? <laughs> Bigfoot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that tall. We call you Big Abe. <laughs> People already call me Big Abe. No, they don't. We could start doing it now. <laughs> then yeah, sure. But that the fact remains, Silva. my body is is final a, answer is a chisel. Fun, I was gonna say final answer, Alex Trebek, but he wasn't the guy that did it. It was oh, Regis. Final answer, Regis. 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 The fact remains that my body is chiseled like a statue or like RDA. Who did the statue? <laughs> Stevie Wonder. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> oh, DiCaprio. <laughs> uh, makes <laughs> yeah. sense. Makes sense. So, what are your thoughts on the fight? I thought you jabroni. I thought Tony Ferguson won. Of course, yeah, it was a very man. good fight, very competitive. Now, I don't know that eye poke. To yeah. me, to me, it looked like it affected Dos Anjos. Mm-hmm. Now, would he have won if he didn't get poked in the eye? When when did the eye poke happen? Like second was it round? Mid- yeah, 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 second round was it in the mid- I was in the beginning. Middle beginning like first cuz what it uh, for, uh, you know, you yeah. could we could debate. But um uh-huh. after the first round it felt like well, now that seeing the whole fight, yes. it seemed like Ferguson wanted to test him out, see what Dosanos was about. Yeah, right after yeah. that first round, he turned it on. Well, like he came firing out the gate. I wasn't sure if that was that's why I was asking. That was after like, after was, the eye poke, but oh, that, was that's it? that's what I was saying. Like that could have easily have been part of Ferguson getting started. Mm-hmm. Ferguson, I don't think he's ever been in a five round fight. No, I don't, so not in that Ferguson's I eyes, I I got to get this train moving. Yeah, and I got to loosen up. I got to find my range. A lot of great fighters mm-hmm. do that, especially five round fighters. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that Dos Anjos was was getting the better of the exchanges in the first round yeah. Yeah. may or may not indicate that w- he would have won the fight mm-hmm. because Tony Ferguson may be a slow starter in that fight, yeah. which he turned out to be pushing the pace after that. But I don't know, man. Something about Dos Anjos after that, it, it seemed like it affected him. It seemed yeah. like he was hesitating a okay. lot more. But again... Tony Ferguson would have eventually turned it on. Yeah. And when he eventually turned it on, whether there was an eye poke or not, would it have caused RDA to hesitate because of, you know, dealing with with the Tony vision. Ferguson's game? Yeah, yeah. It was uh, – Tony Ferguson's game is just like his I, – I think they said on the – um one of the commentators is his r- ring generalship. It just looked like he owned. But the, yeah. w- w- one thing I give props to RDA is uh, Ferguson would throw something at him. RDA would come back. But then Ferguson, it looked like he just came right back at him. It's like yeah. two springs. Like you'd push, boom, boom, yeah. and then the spring would come back. You'd push, the spring would come back. So yeah. it was fun. It just it just seemed like it might have been the eye poke, but it just seemed like RDA couldn't solve that puzzle. Ferguson's yeah, puzzle. That, that's I think that's that's probably more of it. I, yeah, I definitely think the eye poke had some mm-hmm. effect during the fight, but I don't know if that would have been enough to allow him to yeah. win if he didn't get poked. In exactly. The eye. Tony man. Ferguson's too weird, too crafty. Too long, yeah. right? We, yeah. we don't talk about the reach in that fight. The reach was a factor. And I think Tony Ferguson was, was too, I can't even speak. Tony Ferguson was way too confident. Oh, that's or not way too confident, but so confident yeah. that sometimes you're rolling with some or you're sparring with somebody and you're like, man, this guy is too confident. It just brings your confidence a little bit down, yeah. man. When yeah. you see him, when he started doing the salsa a little bit more, just like, Man, and he just looked calm. He was coming at him. It's yeah. like like a zombie coming yeah. at you. And both guys fight very similar. Where it seemed like in this fight, you hit me, I'm gonna pay you back immediately. Yeah, I'm not gonna man. let any unwanted shots come back. And actually, I believe Wonder Boy said the same That's thing. Exactly he fights it. like that, right? Like, yeah. You hit me, I am going to return the shot right after. No unanswered yeah. shots, like that Bruce Lee thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Momentum builds yeah, exactly. And if you let. A couple unanswered shots build their confidence skyrockets, even mm-hmm. if it's false confidence. Yeah, you don't want any. Either way, you don't want to give them any yes. kind of confidence. Also, too, I think um, no one really talked about it is Ferguson's chin. He was taking clean shots, man, and I think that's why he was gaining a little more confidence because he was like, "Man, I could eat his shots." Mm-hmm. But um, once you pass the second, third round, even though um, it didn't look like Dos Anjos slowing down, his the power isn't there. I forgot what um, uh, what episode we're talking about, but I think it was the one with. Um, yeah. Who does the the podcast with 
he's a Woodley. Who does a podcast with Woodley? Dean Thomas. Yeah, then he talk about like after that first or second round, that power shot yes, kind of fades it, away. It fades away, yeah. Yeah, so same thing. Like his he was getting clean like really clean shots. Yeah. But he seemed unfazed, man, which was impressive because Dosanya just puts people to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Um I don't know, man. It, it was a good fight. Yeah, man. I both guys could take it. There's no question that that Dos Anjos has heart because yeah. you could tell, man. He was like fourth round, fifth round. You could tell the way he was fighting. Like, man, I can't. I'm not gonna win this fight. Yeah, abso- Just, I agree. I can't do anything to win this fight. And even if I wanted to push hard, I, my eyes is bothering. Yeah, me. yeah. Even if the uh, even if he could see out of it, when something starts to consume you, yeah, and you get distracted, that's the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Dos Anjos has heart. He'll be back. Tony Ferguson. What's next? Title. Yeah. Title. He's they he We wait for 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 um the the thing is he won by decision. Mm-hmm. If Khabib or Michael yeah. Johnson win with like a spectacular I think if Khabib wins with like like early in the fight, first round, second round, like like really nicely. Okay. Then you give him the title shot. Okay. Hey, we're looking at the last two, the two number one contenders, mm-hmm. and one guy knocked the other guy True. out, and the other guy went to the. What side. happens if um, what's his name? Khabib uh, wins by decision. Then you give it to Ferguson. Yeah, because Ferguson has more impressive wins. Yeah, as of his late. style. I think his style. Out like if if both won, say Khabib wins, and I had a choice, I'd like to see Ferguson versus Connor, just because it would be if if Connor wins. I was Connor thinking wins. before the fight happened. Okay. Before Tony and Rafael fought, I was thinking I want to see Tony Ferguson's next, or right after he won, mm-hmm. I was like, Tony Ferguson's next fight, whether Connor wins or loses, should be against Connor. Yeah. Because I would love to see that fight. True. I feel like it's more. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Like I feel like if if he if Tony fights Eddie Alvarez, mm-hmm. I kind of know what what will happen. Okay. It'll either wind up like like the fight that just happened, where mm-hmm. Tony just kind of. Uh, rattles your brain and RDA couldn't figure him out and then he yeah. beats him by decision or yeah. Eddie is gonna grind him grind him out mm-hmm. or knock him out true sure. because Eddie's got power for days yeah, so I feel like I kind of know like there won't be a surprise Connor and Tony I don't know what's gonna I, happen yeah I have no idea because uh, Tony Ferguson can e- easily yeah go for a takedown leg lock Connor Darce Connor mm-hmm. uh just out grapple him, mm-hmm. or he could try and play the stand up. He could take a shot, but can he take a Connor left hand yeah, shot? Yeah, Connor's not going to back down from this dude. He's not. That's they both have reach. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's going to be fun. But th- who's in the cell? When it, w- but knowing the UFC, it's going to come down to if they both win, who's going to sell more tickets? The one thing I think Khabib will will get it because he talks a little bit more than Tony. And Tony, you even notice uh, post uh, the his post fight interview, He's like, he just said, yeah, "Yeah, that's it. I'm done." Like he's not really a guy that really likes to mm-hmm. not enthuse, but if you know you what I mean. Ask he him, seems he'll like talk. He's, yeah, but he's to he's more to himself. Like you said, when he walked into the cage, he kind of gave everyone dap. Instead of giving a hug, it kind of shows like what kind of person he is. Not, I don't mean this in a negative way, but he just it seems like he's to himself. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mm-hmm. doesn't like no BS or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So understandable. Yeah. What yeah. do you think? I, I think you're right. I, it's interesting because Khabib, generally, like a f- foreign fighters yeah. don't get pushed as much. True. So, but Khabib, he's got all of like freaking Russia and yeah. and those like close countries. All of Europe, probably on his back. Yeah, he's probably got like twenty million people watching the dude. You look at his Instagram; he's got like tons of followers. Oh, does he? Yeah, I mean, he's like the only guy from that area that's True. like killing it. So his Instagram game is on it's on point. lock. Social well, media game's on point. If you guys want to add us at Amesy <laughs> on uh, Twitter on uh, yeah. Instagram, so um. Interesting fight. Um, what's next? We'll we'll see. I think Tony just based on this fight and prediction and his. Uh, what what's do you up? think? What's your prediction for right now? What's uh, gonna happen? Yeah, what's gonna happen? We kind of just have to wait until after this weekend. Yeah, we because the do. cards they're so close. It'll play together. itself out. Yeah, but uh, you know what? What we just said is accurate. If if Khabib wins, he'll probably get the shot. Yeah. If Khabib loses, Tony okay. will get the shot. I think Michael Johnson needs to string like one more win against yeah, he, he the top does. guy yeah. if he beats. Khabib and then faces another guy. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh man, imagine Michael wins, and then he puts and and he gets a title shot in front of uh, Tony Ferguson. I, that doesn't make sense. That wouldn't even happen because he doesn't even have star power over Tony Ferguson. Okay, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. I mean, if he knocks out Khabib, mm-hmm. 
Maybe. But Tony Ferguson put together so many wins in a row. It's it's kind of hard to deny him. It's kind of like yeah. it's not like the Wonder Boy Damian Maya debacle. True. Where both guys were coming off long win streaks. True. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of different than that. Yeah. So. All right, let's let's move on. Okay. Let's get right into it, man. UFC 205. We kind of talked about our our picks, but let's get a little bit more into it since we have more time. So, um, yeah, man, two mm-hmm. two five is stacked, man. Already the pr- prelims is is sexy. It's like you got to start your start cooking early, mm-hmm. so you got time to watch. Before we get into that, okay, what do you want? Just so everybody knows, go on Facebook, go True. on our website. We're doing a contest, a UFC Show the Art two hundred five pick 'em contest. Mm. Basically, we put together this form on Google. Um, it's very simple, very inexpensive. Yeah, and we have all the fights. Just to just to we're giving away prizes for the person who scores the most points. So you get one. You're gonna pick the winner of each fight. You're mm. gonna pick the round, and you're gonna pick the method of 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 win, of finish, and you get one point per correct answer. So if you pick Eddie Alvarez versus Conor McGregor, correct? Mm. Yep. You get one point. Boom. If you pick that round as well, you get yep. another point. If okay. you pick the finish, you get another point. Boom. So you could say Eddie, five rounds decision. Mm-hmm. You get three points right nice. there. But if you say the wrong guy, but you get the round correct, it doesn't count. Oh, okay. Right? It only counts if you get the fight correct. You got to get the fight yeah. correct. So go to our website, showtheart.com. Go to the blog section. It should be up there. Or go to our Facebook, Instagram, where we're posting it, the link for that. Mm-hmm. And all you have to do is click on the link. It'll ask you for your email, and then it'll grant you access. What happens when you win this uh, lovely contest, my friend? When you win, the, we're giving away uh, first place prizes okay. and second place prize. First place prize is uh, you're getting a couple of things. You're getting uh, our rash guard mm. t-shirt. 93 brand is giving away a rash guard and a, and sh- a pair of shorts. Ooh. Arm bar sub is giving away a couple of bars of soap. Nice. Chimera Coffee is giving away a bag of Ooh. sweet coffee. Damn, man. Second place gets a little less than that, but... You get something. You get you get a couple T-shirts. You get a little sign, sign. Hey, second place, you get I think two or three T-shirts. Freeze bag me, of man. Chimera coffee. There you go. Come on, man. You can't just, go wrong. You you'd be a fool to not enter this. Because all you have to do is just make the picks that you think. Yeah. Like it's not. That and hard. if you do fantasy, you should be you should be excited and ecstatic yeah. to re- to to do this. I can't wait to make my picks. Let's do it. I'm definitely gonna win. So this. Uh, and don't about Here's anything, another actually. thing, guys. You have until Saturday, the day of the fight, okay. 7 p.m. Eastern time, New oh, York City time, Madison uh, Square Garden time. You got a lot of time, man. And you can go back and change it up until that point. True. So if you make picks today and then you watch a couple embedded episodes and your heart changes, oh, you could you could switch that pick. <laughs> That's gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah. How good is that? You know, I get props to like all these like boxing, wrestling, uh-huh. MMA, any of these with these promo videos because you could be like totally not into any fight and you watch one promo video or like one of these 24 sevens and you're hooked, man. Like I remember every Floyd Mayweather um, uh, boxing fight. I'm like, ah, it's OK. I'm not really excited, but I'll watch it. Then you watch twenty four seven, and I'm excited. I'm like, man, they might have a chance. And like, after the fight is over, I'm like, ah, they're good. Yeah, I was fooled. Yeah, they actually gave no, me. No, but those shows are perfect because a they build star power because you get yeah, to man. know the person really. Mm-hmm. Like I felt like that about again about Tyron Woodley. Yeah, I didn't really care for him. I didn't really follow him. I watched his fights, but I wasn't like a diehard fan. Mm-hmm. And then I watch a couple of UFC embeddeds or documentaries on him, like UFC yeah. style. And I, I'm like, man, I like this guy. Actually, yeah. a perfect example is I was listening to the MMA hour today. Okay. The the latest edition from, from Monday. And, um, Ariel Helwani, he had Conor McGregor's coach on. Okay. John Kavanaugh. Ah. And I'm listening to it and I'm like, I've heard an interview from him before, but n- nothing like this. It was pr- it was pretty in depth. It was about nice. a little bit of everything, but he he touched on Connor and his relationship, and how it got a lot better as of late after the loss, mm. and how they were going away from they were they were kind of going away from each other. Okay. All the fame, all all of everything was was kind of separating them slowly. Yeah. They weren't even training together, right? Oh wow! And you really? know, Connor was able to afford all these different coaches and and this and that. And you know, he he said Connor likes to go with his own flow. So Connor would come in late at night, 10 p.m. for a tr- for his training session. Wow! And you know, John, the head coach of the gym, is is on his way out. He's tired. He's been teaching a couple of classes yeah. already. So he said, you know, there was times where you just walk past each other and nod, I'm like, hey, what's up, man? Damn. And then after the loss, 
you know, you learn and Put they you really back in focus. Yeah, yeah. they like, really got together. What so, was that like Rocky? Rocky three. Yeah, right? yeah, just, just like that, exactly. man. So, like, and it happens, man. Fame could mm-hmm. do that to anybody, yeah. man. But my point is, I found a new respect for Connor cool. after listening to that. Okay, almost like. Not necessarily liked him better, but I kind of did because I got someone to talk about. I heard someone talk about him on a personal note, a I note see. that you never hear. That, that you want to hear. That you, you know want to hear. You want to get to know what that person's yeah. all about. Because you man. see this facade these guys yeah. put on, and you're like, I, I, the show. I don't like it, but it's probably for show, but I don't know for mm-hmm. for show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Until you hear somebody like that, yeah. Like so that. That, that's that's what got me on UFC because the I got into UFC. My friend told me, "Hey, watch this fight." It was like UFC, one of those replays on Spike. Mm-hmm. It was when Crowpop, Crowcop, Crowpop, got, we'll say Crow, Crowpop, Crow, Crow got knocked out by. He's got pop for steroids. Uh, what's his name? Brazilian. Uh, he was telling me he was introducing like Crowcop. He was like, "This guy's a head kicker." Oh, Gabriel but, Gonzaga. There yeah. you go. Yeah, and all of a sudden oh. I saw his yeah. And it looked That's like bad. he ripped his knee apart. He hurt his knee, and yeah, yeah he he should have, man. That did not look like a bad. yeah. That looked like a bad position, but. That's how I got hooked on, and I started watching UFC a lot more. And then mm. all the like um, when BJ Penn fought GSP, mm. they kind of went into that twenty four seven type of thing. What was it called? What was their version called? Was it Countdown? Maybe Countdown. Yeah, yeah. Countdown to whatever it is. And I'm like, man, this is pretty cool. Yeah. And not only what how they won up boxing was they showed their whole main card. Yes. That's Instead where of just the main yeah, event. That's yeah. where UFC shines because they make the whole fight card exciting because you want you're rooting for everyone. Yeah. Boxing is only like the the cool thing in boxing when you go to a fight, you only it only starts filling in towards the main event or at the main event. UFC it's popping from the get. Yeah. It, it, it's they're still it's not as big of a crowd as the main event, but you you have people watching yeah. and invested. Hell and yeah. that's what I love about uh, MMA. Whenever I go to UFC events, I make it a point to get there as soon as yep. possible. I want to see all the fights. I agree. Because yeah. you don't want to mix. So they're all going to be good fights. Yeah. They're not pitting like one sucker against like someone that's like with a clean record, yeah. like 13 and 0. And here's another thing. UFC made a smart move because their main event, let's say for this weekend, their main event's on pay-per-view, right? Mm-hmm. You got to order it. Yep. But they have the the prelims and the early prelims. The prelims are on FS1, Fox yeah. Sports 1. And then they make it. Like there's a main event on the Fox Sports prelim, yeah. so and like it is. yeah, That's so the main event. So man. Frankie Edgar versus Jeremy Stevens is being headlined as the main event for the Fox That's Sports crazy. prelim. So just that alone, your prelim fight, you've upgraded it. You made it sound more desirable. Mm-hmm. Now same thing for the early prelims on the UFC Fight Pass. Mm-hmm. There's a headliner for the UFC Fight Pass. There's a main event for the UFC Pi- Fight Pass prelims. That's crazy. So the man. marketing strategy on their prelims is genius. genius. It's really genius. What they uh, it it's great because man, you if you if it's a good main event on FS1, it's like man, I can't miss the main card. Yes. Boom, you just made seventy dollars or whatever they're paying. Yeah. For for the for the pay per view, mm-hmm. which is it's good for, a good good plan. Did they say how much the pay per view is going to cost? I'm guessing around sixty to seventy. Yeah, I'm guessing. I feel like they haven't ever done that where they raised it for one card. Oh, what what was it right now? What is it right now? Uh, I'm thinking it's boxing. 60. I'm sorry. Okay, so sixty. It's sixty or fifty on certain platforms. I would I would bump it. That's what I would do. But you might have to to pay for all these. Yeah, guys. man. For for this fight card, people won't get yeah. mad. They'll understand. But if UFC keeps it at the regular price, mm-hmm. mad respect. Yeah, mad yeah, respect. Yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think they would need to, honestly, because yeah. for like I, the only one hard. I remember they did for like a hundred for the Manny Mayweather. Like yeah, they're thinking about doing like a rematch. They're trying to like tease oh, it out they? there. Get the hell out of here, yeah. man! I'm so over. Yeah. It's done, man. That's like the worst year of boxing. <laughs> Even De La Hoya, De La Hoya is talking about Good. it. But I don't want to get Who, too Oscar? much. In, yeah, Good old Oscar the yeah. <laughs> Okay, moving on. UFC yeah. 205 main card. Baboom. Yeah. Babushka. Oh God, man. Eddie Alvarez, Conor McGregor. <sighs> Let's start from like. You want to start at the main event? Meat and potatoes. All right, let's go for it. I said uh, I said Eddie, right? What yeah. did I say? What round uh, on the last card? No, I mean on the not. last episode. Do not. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go third round. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Fourth. Why? F- um. Oh. Fourth. <laughs> submission. <laughs> nah. Really? I think submission is very possible. Because of what happened with Connor and Nate. Yeah, that's you know? what I was thinking right now. I think Eddie's going to take him to the ground and by the fourth round. I don't either TK was, well, obviously one of those, but 
I think he's uh, McGregor's going to make a mistake, and Eddie's just going to capitalize. So I'll go. Okay. I'll go. I'll go submission. I'm going to go submission. Eddie second round, even though Connor is dangerous. Yeah, he's so dangerous. That's the thing about Connor. You never know. He's just so dangerous, and he keeps proving everybody wrong. Absolutely, he keeps proving me wrong. He'll probably prove us wrong since yeah. we both said Alvarez. Yeah, exactly. But probably not. But um. <laughs> But he, Connor has a great chance of winning in the first round, mm-hmm. second round. I feel like after the third round and on, mm-hmm. chances greatly increase for Eddie. Yeah. But you never know, man. You, Connor didn't expect to lose to Nate the first fight. That's true. And really, I didn't expect him to lose either. Yeah. I, I until what happened. Did. Yeah. Until he started gassing. It was something that you didn't think of. Mm-hmm. So maybe that could happen to Eddie. He gets hit with a, with a solid punch, doesn't go out. Yeah. But it drains him. Yeah. Second round comes. He's drained. Now Connor's unloading on him. It was yeah. just like something he didn't count on. He didn't expect to happen. Yeah. So that can honestly that can easily happen where he catches him. Yeah, I want to see RDA eye poke. Yeah. What if he gets poked in the eye by accident and it changes the way of the fight? That's true. I, I want to see what the speed difference is between Eddie and Conor McGregor because the speed difference between Connor and Nate was there's yeah. a huge gap. Yeah. 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 It's only because there's. Well, Nate like, is very is a flat-footed fighter, yeah, so anybody's going to look yeah, fast against him. That's true. That's Connor true. is fast, but not as fast, in my opinion, as, as people, people make him out yeah, to be. That's why. Yeah. Like, that's why I'm thinking, like, Eddie yeah. might, because he's, Eddie's, Eddie's fast. fast. Eddie's fast, yeah. man. Eddie's very explosive, but Connor's hands are pretty fast. True. But you can't be that fast if you're powerful. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. You, you're either fast or you're powerful. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. both. Yeah. Um, or you're not the best at both. So, I think... Uh, I think it's going to be very interesting. Okay. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. I, I can't wait. I won't be surprised if Connor wins, yeah. but I give the edge to Eddie Alvarez, yeah. the lightweight champ, the guy who's been doing it for a long mm-hmm. time. Um, who's who's the odds on favorite to win this fight? Probably Connor. Connor? But the odds make it just have a good, I just have a feeling about Alvarez. <laughs> Remember that we were talking about when I had a, just RDA was a favorite, but just something about Tony Ferguson that we said yes, that yes. we think like he that. might win. I, I just, with this one... It's I guess Connor is a favorite, but I just have a feeling Connor Eddie's win, is the man. favorite via popularity uh, contest. In that case, yeah, because I'm looking at him like there's if just the styles. I think Eddie's just gonna yeah. just gonna catch him. I man. mean, look at it on paper, right? Uh, we if we had to rate each person from one to five on each attribute of the fight game, True. right? Okay. Or each realm of the fight game, we're looking at Eddie and Connor. Boom. Okay, you have to rate them from one to five. Their mm-hmm. skill level five being the highest. Yeah. And one, one being, being the lowest. Shit. Okay. Okay. Striking realm. Connor is probably a five. Yeah. Because he likes to test the waters with new strikes, but mm-hmm. also he's just so dangerous with that left hand. Yeah. Eddie Alvarez lately has been looking like a four. Four. Yeah. Because he hasn't been trying to knock people out like he did in Bellator. Yeah. But before he came to the UFC, you'd be like, you would have thought this guy's a five. Exactly. Let's call it, give him a four. Let's, That's yeah. very close. Four is good for him. That's very close. Yeah. But Connor has the edge in that realm. Okay. Now we'll talk about. Grappling on the ground, just grappling, not okay. not taking down, but grappling on the ground. You give the edge to Eddie. Yep. Right? Because he's shown that he can perform better on the ground than Connor has. Mm-hmm. And if you want to rate it, maybe Eddie's grappling itself is a four. Connor's might be a three. Three. Right? Three or two. Just because of what he showed so yeah. far, right? He might be better than that in a, in a only it, grappling match. Yeah. Now let's look at takedown abilities. Mm -hmm. And takedown abilities means I can take you down and I can also defend the shot. It's both. Mm -hmm. Eddie, you give him a five. Connor, you give him a three. Yep. Maybe even a two. That's being nice. I was like, yeah, that's being nice. Maybe even a two. I would give him a two because we don't really see uh, when he did. (laughs) Yep. Yeah. Now also we have to look at ring general. How do you say it? Uh, Generalship. Generalship. Uh, Ring. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Well, con- well, if we think about control it, control of yeah. the movement yeah. of the fight, controlling the ring. Yeah. Per se, you're you're the guy. Generalmanship. Yeah. Connor has the edge on that. Yes. Because Connor likes the fight that way, and yeah. he imp- That's implements his, that. Just yeah. his style. Now Eddie has shown that sometimes he can back up in a fight, like mm. what RDA did to him. He yeah. was backing up when RDA. Caught. He was against yeah. the fence when he caught RDA. Mm-hmm. So you give that edge to Connor. So. You look at it on paper, and you kind of have to give it to Eddie. Yeah. So we, we there's another conditioning. What's that? Oh, conditioning. My bad. Eddie. Yeah. Connor has showed in but the last couple of fights. Connor's like a two. Yeah. Well, I mean the from what, the, the from second what Nate Diaz recently? fight though. Yeah. No, the second Nate Diaz fight, he bumped up to uh, like a three. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he he, he was back. dying, and then he got a second win. He got a second you're right, one. you're right. And I don't think it was, it was that. I think I maybe. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like, yeah, conditioning is 
was a minor issue for him, but more it was it was dealing with adversity that got to him. Mm, okay. Not even heart. He, the guy has heart. Everybody has heart. Yeah. But it's dealing with adversity. Connor in the first fight, he started getting cracked. He couldn't deal with it. Mm. So he shot in. Okay. Right? Yeah. It's true, true. Second fight, that started to take hold, right? Second round. And he switched it up. It's, uh, Nate switched the pace on him. Third round, switched the pace on him. And then what happened? Fourth round, he's yeah. like, I'm not going to let this adversity he get to back. me. True, 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 so, true. Yeah. But I would still give Eddie uh, a... I'd put him as a huge favorite. Uh, well, in conditioning. I, For sure. Yeah, there's definitely a yeah. gap between So them. on paper, Eddie, Eddie is the odds-on favorite. True. But when you're talking about variables of everything... Yeah. He I is, don't know. Connor's a walking variable. He's a, yeah. There's not a lot, but him, Wonder Boy, he, he's a very just yeah. He's so, just one of those guys yeah. who has a lot in his toolbox. So moving on to the next fight. Yeah, let's get into this. Since, speaking of uh, Wonder Boy, yeah, I got Wonder Woodley. Boy versus Woodley. I got Woodley. You got Woodley. Second round. I I kind of have to pick Wonder Boy because uh, I've been like vouching for him yeah, for so long. That's your boy, man. It's a scary fight. That's yeah, a scary fight. It's man. a scary fight. I don't. Woo! Boy. Woodley might be the king of the X Factor advantage. No, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, man. Oh, that's how I think second round. Woodley, I think second round is he's gonna catch him. Yeah, I as feel, per usual. Okay, I think if Woodley catches Wonder Boy, it's in the first round. It's not in the second round. By the second round, Wonder Boy's <laughs> figured him out. Figured out the range. Okay. You can't give a guy that make, like that. That does make sense. That does make sense. Yeah. yeah. So to correct your prediction, it's okay. the first round. Ah, okay. So you're going, uh, no, I'm sick with second round. <laughs> Just because I said it and yeah. I don't want to back no, no, no. up. But he can't. The thing about Woodley is he could catch you in any round. Doesn't yeah. matter. Now, th- this is very intriguing because This Woodley is such a is, scary matchup, yeah. man. This is uh, one, when you watch, well, these last two fights, my heart is going to be beating like <laughs> 170, 180 <laughs> mi- uh, <laughs> miles per hour. Yeah. No, <laughs> we'll call it, we'll say it miles yeah. per hour. <laughs> but you know what I mean, man. That's how it feels, it, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm going to be on the edge of my seat because- yeah. Yeah, I'm going for. I'm gonna go for Eddie Hard. Okay. I'm going for Eddie uh, Alvarez Hard. I'm, and I'm going for uh, Woodley. Wood. Yeah. But you won't be. No, I won't. You won't be disappointed if Wonder Boy wins. No, you're not gonna at all. be happy for him. Yeah, absolutely. Because he's a guy that you you're happy for. I actually like all of them. It's just because I said it. That was my statement, so I'm gonna stick by it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And but you know whoever what? wins, the worst thing you could do is pick a fight by your because of your heart. Yeah. And. If you just picked Wonder Boy because of your heart, because you like the guy better, yeah, 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 but you look on paper and Woodley's the better fighter, yeah. and you don't pick Woodley, yeah. then you, that's You're not great, a good yeah, pick. Yeah. But if you're picking because you truly think Woodley has a chance of beating, yeah, you know Wonder Boy more than the other guy, mm-hmm. then that's a good pick. It's, I, it's a very good pick. It, it, just, it just makes it hard because I want it. Like I'm watching, I watch the embedded. I'm like, man, I want to go for, I want to go yeah. for Wonder Boy right yeah. now, man. But yeah. Woodley is not a bad guy. No, he's, yeah, he's, he's a not great guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna <laughs> say it too, and then it flipped it yeah. because it shows like it shows Woodley opening up his new gym with his son. I'm yeah. just like, man, I don't know who well, I want to win. Well, expanding his gym. Yeah, he's yeah. Been, okay, he okay. had it for a while. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah a couple of years. But yeah, no, I mean, Woodley is hard to bet against the champ, and. Maybe it's my bias because I've been talking to yeah. we had Wonder Boy on the show a yeah. couple times and I really like him. I really like his style because I fight more like him than I do Woodley. No, he doesn't. So but, I didn't say I fight on. like him. I yeah. I said I fight more like him. Oh, true, true, true. Because I'm not Definitely a physical, doesn't. explosive specimen, specimen like Tyron like Woodley is. Ty- Tyron Woodley. I am. Yeah. So uh, maybe that's exactly. why I'm going maybe for Woodley why, just because yeah. I'm just like an X Factor. I'm just a walking X Factor. You're walking X Factor. Like people look okay. at me like, oh, is that Woodley? No, but no, no. Like an Asian Ames version. walking down the street and people are like, hold on, is that you all Romero <laughs> from the behind? <laughs> what the? F- oh, it's just Ames. You know, he should be my favorite fighter just because like, like looks wise, I might pull that off the most. <laughs> you know, I just got to, yeah, yeah, I just got to go you for work like, on the, the deepest. I got to work on my base. Yeah. So I'm going to say... I'm going to say Wonder Boy. Uh-huh. I don't know if he's going to knock him out. I, I don't want to pick that. I'm just going to say Wonder Boy wins the fight. Okay. Okay. Next fight. Psych, we're going to make you pick. <laughs> How does Wonder Boy win? So I have to pick. Oh, yeah. yeah, I should pick. Yeah, you should pick. Don't be that guy. <sighs> Decision five rounds. Ah, okay. Ooh, okay. So, I, I, you know, as long as I see a good fight, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's move it on. JJ. To the JJ. <laughs> Joanna Yunjacek she- versus Carolina. Yeah, good luck with that. Kowalkovitz. Oh, Kowalkovitz. Yeah, it's it's easy. It's, it's easy. just spelled weird. How long did you practice that? Once. Because I've heard the name before. Not true. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going JJ. Until JJ she gets beaten, man. KK. Hold yeah. on. Is this a JJ versus KK oh, match? Oh, JK. And it's like Al- JKL. Next person she's going to fight is LL. Who's LL? Yeah, whatever. Moving on. But JJ versus KK. Did we just figure yeah, something we out and they haven't used it? 
Hashtag JJ versus <laughs> KK. I'm pretty sure I know why they're not using it. Because it's pretty corny. Oh, speaking of um, thinking of something new. You know, I wanted okay. to talk to Wonderboy Thompson. Okay. Because I have a nickname for him. I think it might catch on. Okay. It's kind of an original. Okay. Stevie Wonder. <laughs> I think that name has been taken before. Huh? I think that name was taken. No, I'm pretty sure it hasn't. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Like Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Stevie Let's make Wonder. It short, like Stevie Wonder. Stevie Boy now, Wonder. He's just gonna he's gonna take Stevie out the Boy last Wonder? name of Thompson. He's gonna go Stevie Wonder. And now, what's his stats? Whatever. Yeah. Stevie Stevie, Stevie Wonder. Stevie Boy Wonder. Wonder. It could work. It could work. You could do hashtag Stevie Wonder. We could. I, sh- I should copyright yeah. that. Maybe spell. Uh, Wonder differently or Stevie differently. Oh, maybe Stevie with wonder a ph. No, w- Stevie with a ph. S- no wonder. W a n. No, <laughs> w u n. W- wunder. 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 Oh, Stevie Wunder. <laughs> Is he German? I hope. He, hey, he could sure. be <laughs> Stevie Wunder. Stevie Wunder. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, now that we nailed that in the car, uh, I'm clutch. Yeah. So moving so, on. So uh, yeah. Um, so JJ is gonna win. So if it this was a if this was a card headlined by. Joanna versus Carolina, it would be J- JJ versus KK. So that would be like on the promo. <laughs> JJ versus KK. KK. It would be in all <laughs> pink and glitter eyes. I'm, I hope they're listening to this. Uh, yeah. When they see it, they're just going to right cross you. Yeah. <laughs> but no. Or cross you. Much respect to two great fighters. Yeah, man. Um, Both undefeated. My pick is JJ via third round stoppage, yeah. maybe even second round stoppage, TKO style. Maybe not knock her out cold, but Same I don't think Carolina. Onslaught. It, yeah. it, uh, that's what I'm thinking too. Like at the cage, she's just gonna freaking mm-hmm. just unload, catch her. She's gonna be overwhelmed and hands her up, and then ref stops it. Yeah, that's exactly what's gonna happen. That's so the way well, I think is the happen. way what we just described is how Carolina beat Rose mm, in her last fight. True, she kind of oh, like that started true. to overwhelm yeah uh, Rose mm-hmm. in later rounds in the fight, and her output is not very high. Mm-hmm. Not like JJ's output. Okay, JJ's output, Joanna's output is, is tremendous, crazy. Yeah. And she only picks up. She's the only fighter I see. Her and Demetrius Johnson okay. are the only two fighters I see who can look keep just up. as fast yes. in the fifth round as yeah. the first. Yeah, it's amazing. They don't look tired. Um, ben Henderson doesn't throw the same thing, but he just never looks tired. Yeah, he, she's, she's like another guy, one, yeah. like JJ. She just never looks like no. she just looks fresh. Yeah, every JJ single time. JJ was being wrestled mm. oh by God, Claudia Gadelia in the second fight mm-hmm. for two rounds, there, maybe two and a half rounds. Yeah. And then she just came out fresh, fresh as a crazy. Yeah, man. Kaboom. Just just unloading on her. And she was picking. It was crazy. So that's why we say JJ. Yeah, I think it's going to be. I'm going to go fourth round. Fourth round? Okay. I'll say third just for. Because I got to pick one. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So, So, uh, my boy. Chris (laughs) Weidman versus Yoel Homero. I'm going to go with the Soldier of God. Yeah? Yeah. Because you guys are both like diehard Christians. (laughs) No, because we look alike. I, mean, I, mean, I might as well make him my favorite fighter, yeah. but uh, just the But next. Weidman is like a very religious guy, too. Yeah. No, I'm just going with Yoel just because he's bald and with a beard. Ah. Yeah, yeah. And he's kind of... Well, oh, I like Weidman. Good. Who did I say? I forgot who I picked. Who this did I might pick? be the first... Th- no, you pick Yoel. I pick Yoel. This might be the first time I'm actually picking Weidman. Wow. Not because he, I disliked him, but okay. because uh, he beat my boy. <laughs> and I and I like... They, that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't like him for a while. But then after just the like Conor McGregor, yeah. But then after <laughs> after Weidman beat Machida, okay, and proved all the he things. he did, man. He proved me. Yeah, that's when I, I started liking him. I honestly thought Machida was was gonna take him for a ride. Yeah, <laughs> that was total no. opposite. He he total showed. total oh. opposite of that. So that was a good fight for him. Uh, I'm gonna pick Weidman. Okay, but man, is this another scary fight? Yeah, <laughs> I honestly think Chris Weidman. He's gonna dominate the fight. Or he's going to be winning on points, actually, and then Yoel's going to catch him in the third. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, snap. I think what's going to happen is Weidman is going to get overwhelmed in the first mm. round. Yoel is just going to – he's going to make him hesitate. Oh, this is a three-round. Yeah, it's a three-round fight. Oh, he's going to overwhelm him. Weidman is going to weather some sort of storm. And tired as hell. And then beat him probably by decision. decision. Okay. You know what? Yeah. No, no, no. Stick with your first one because no, I like no, that. I, I am going to stick with that, but man, that like th- it's a th- it's a three round fight. I th- ah, or since it's a three round fight, Yoel's going to come out and just knock Wyman out, just obliterate him. Yeah. And we're all just like left with our. Like, I'm saying it well, but I'm I'm God, I'm really pulling for Wyman. Pick what your heart says <laughs> right now. Three, two, one. Yoel still. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's dangerous. But I, I'm picking you well, but I'm going to be rooting. I'm rooting for, for okay. Wyman. Okay, see, that's a smart pick. Yeah. Your heart, okay, I'm rooting for Wyman, but I, I really think uh, yeah. Yoel's going to win. <laughs> yeah. That's okay to right? say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, moving on. Damn, what a card, man. Like it doesn't lighten up because yeah. you now now you have Cerrone versus uh, yeah, Ke- yeah. Let's let's talk about the Wyman fight real quick. Back, okay, back. All right, yeah, take yeah, a few we, steps we back do that. real quick. Why this is an interesting fight because Wyman and Yoel. What are their both common uh, attributes? Skill traits. R- wrestling. Wrestling. Mm-hmm. I want to see Wyman try to wrestle Romero oh, because man. if he could get Romero Slabber down, knocker. yes, yeah. that's a, you know if Romero gets a little tired, which he's shown to do, second yeah. round. You will be able to take Romero down. That's true. And best believe, yeah. the ref is going to be paying close attention to Yoel's little tricks. True. Cage sitting grabbing. Down. Yeah. Sitting. He's not going to sit down. I don't think that'll happen. But cage grabbing. Yeah. That's how. Really, that's the the argument of why he beat Jacare yeah. on the scorecards because Jacare couldn't get this. Uh, you know, this one particular takedown yeah. that because Romero was grabbing the fence. So best believe, ref's going to be taking points out. Puntas. Yeah. <laughs> So it's going to be a very interesting fight. Kelvin Gastelum versus I'm going Donald Cerrone. Cabo Cerrone. I'm going Golf Cerrone. Trump. He's a Trumpian. Is he? Yeah. yeah, I'm not surprised. He looks like a Trumpian. Yeah, yeah just everything about him. Yeah. But I'm going. I'm going Trump second round. I mean Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Cerrone. <laughs> I'm going Cerrone second round. Okay. Just because he's been on such a, like a hot streak, man. Yeah. Just like taking people out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's just going to be the same way. Calvin's a great fighter. Kelvin. Sorry. Yeah. Kelvin. Um, I get that wrong. I say Cerrone by decision. Okay. You know, three rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three rounds, nice battle. Yeah. Um, but I won't be surprised if Cerrone goes for a takedown, takes Calvin down. Yeah. Um, but when you when you scramble with a guy like Calvin, he's he's good mm-hmm. in the scramble. He's good at wrestling you, so he might be able to take advantage of a Cerrone scramble. True. But Cerrone is very good in the scramble as well, as we've seen. Cerrone can. Lay a like a, lay a submission on you at any second. At any point, man. His try, his last fight against Cowboy, the other Cowboy. Okay, yeah. That triangle he landed on him. It's beautiful. High level, man. Yeah. He's nasty. I know what high level jujitsu. We looks know like. what high, high level, level jujitsu yeah. is, guys. Dude, that was high level. Yeah, he yeah. is. I just love everything. He's just like a, a great overall fighter, yeah. man. Just uh, all his technique. That's what I appreciate about him. His technique. Is so and does he keep getting better? Is that I what we keep seeing? Man. What in the world? I, I think he, his he confidence out is Rick's story last fight. Remember that combo? Man, but yeah, Come that on, was dog. nasty, man. I, I'm like, I'm like, I'm surprised his head isn't. I mean, his head's still on his yeah body. Yeah. But it was a beautiful, picture perfect combo. Yeah, it was high I, low, high like ki- head kick. Sorry. As you're talking, I'm just looking at Yoel Romero's. He's just a, his a specimen, man. Yeah. His physique, his body. Okay, Good who looks grief, better? Man. Who has a better physique? Yoel Romero. Yoel Romero. Yoel Romero. Or Tyron Woodley. I was gonna say. I thought you were gonna say yourself. No. Uh, ooh, let's let's take a look. Uh, that damn belt's covering him. I would go Woodley. You would go Woodley. Yeah. No, you. Did you see oh, Yoel Romero? Jeez, Yoel Romero is just a chiseled <laughs> guy. He has his traps are bigger than my whole body. Or Hector Lombard. Ooh. You know, I, I like Woodley. Just overall. Like nothing too much anywhere. Yeah. Just big legs. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I, Woodley looks just like a beefed up Ben Henderson. <laughs> just huge legs, like yeah. Henderson, like Marcel Garcia. They yeah. have like huge. Well, I think thoroughbred uh, legs. But go on. I think they lo- they look both look just as big as each other, right? Yeah. But Yoel is taller, oh, longer. Yeah. How tall is Yoel? What's height weight? Height, 72 inches. Thanks. That uh, helps me out. 72 inches, right? Yeah. We don't go by inches here. Come on. What's the feet? <laughs> and, I'm, not, I'm not trying and to break And Tyron is 69 inches. Yeah. <laughs> Three inches. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I think Tyron, <laughs> with that said, Woodley wins. <laughs> all right? It's, Can it's we just all say, about proportion. I think, I think yeah. we know who won this one. Yeah. Okay, next fight. Speaking of, Misha Tate versus... Who's Raquel Pennington. Pe- Pennington. 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 Mm-hmm. Damn, Misha has a lot more fights than her. Do you want me to pick yeah, right now? Ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Who's your pick? Pennington. Ooh. Pennington, round two. Via. Tikio. Mm. Overwhelming her. That's what I'm picking. What you got? I'm going with my heart. Misha, decision, because I love her. Okay. That's yeah. fine. You yeah. could do that. I yeah. think Misha has a great shot at winning, but- me too. I did some research over the weekend. Okay. And Pennington is that puts you over. 
You know, the strengths that Pennington has shown in the last couple of fights okay. are what you need to do to beat Misha. I see. I get you. The, the only reason, the, and the only reason why I'm, I'm going for Misha even more, well, two reasons: one, because I love Misha, yeah, and two, I never watched Pennington fight, yes. so I, I don't want to be a poser. Okay. If I see her this week, just like Pena, when she won, I'm like, oh, she is real deal Holyfield, <laughs> yeah. man. So you're picking Misha just with your heart? Yeah, yeah. More this one's hard. Out of all the ones, <laughs> you know yeah. what though? That's not a hard. That's not a bad pick. Yeah, like yeah, Misha. Yeah. Is supposed to win this fight. She has a lot more experience mm-hmm. and um, double the amount of wins, more yeah. than double. And um, she has champion. She's championship caliber. She's won the belt. Yep. She's won multiple championships. She's fought the best fighters mm-hmm. in the division. She has, which Pennington has not yet. But we'll see. She's untested. Well, yeah, well, we will see. So I, I'm pretty excited to watch her fight yeah. just because I want to see her fight. <laughs> yeah, I got to get my your Misha fix. Yeah, my Misha. <laughs> okay. Prelims. Let's let's clear these quickly. All right. I'm going Frankie. Frankie Stevens. I'm going um first. I mean not first round. No decision. I'm going Frankie decision as well. Yeah. Ooh. Jeremy Here can knock go. him out though. I'm scared for yeah. that. Fight. Jeremy can knock him out with his new. He's revamped. Yeah. Jeremy 2.0. Yeah. And Jeremy's really good at keeping the distance. I feel like Jeremy can can kind of out out um distance management. Okay. Frankie. I get you. But. If he lands a bomb and Frankie gets gets a little hesitant, he gets he's gonna win that fight. Yeah. Okay, but if Frankie do, like just stays confident, even if he gets hit with a bomb and stays yeah. confident with his game plan, he'll win the fight. Yeah, I, I just think he'll do well just because his head movement, his movement is so crisp and so well. So I think that's gonna kind of can't um, x out uh, Stevens' okay. his, his punch, power. his power. Okay, exactly. Yeah, nice. yeah. So I think his technique is. Only- and best believe Frankie is not gonna be going into that. That you know bombs. Yeah, no, he's not going to he's that gonna danger be moving zone. Away from yeah, that exactly. So I, I'm I'm hoping for uh, a clean sweep of uh, Alvarez, um, Weidman, and Frankie Edgar. So a little New Jersey win ah, or yeah, tri-state, yeah, yeah. A tri-state okay, win. Though, yeah. yeah. Okay. Khabib. Oh man. How's this not? Michael John. Man, I wish this was on the main card, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna get to watch it anyway. Anyway. Yeah. So uh, I take it back. Oh, I'm gonna go Michael Johnson. He's gonna catch him first round. Okay. Yeah, I think they're both going to try to unload, and uh, Michael's just going to catch him. Really? Yeah. Holy crap. I'm scared. I, I don't want to pick. Uh, I like yeah. Michael Johnson a lot, but I think Khabib's going to grapple him, yeah. wrestle him, and, and beat him by decision. Yeah, this is more my heart speed. I, okay. I just have a feeling he's going to upset. Because I, I really think Khabib is going to win, like if I were put money on it, but I just think hey, Michael Johnson's going to pull Johnson a rabbit out of his hat. Michael Johnson just knocked out uh, Dustin yeah. Poirier, who I it's thought true. was going to be in line for the next title shot. It's true, true. So... Yeah, yeah. He's You're proved right. himself. Yeah, yeah. Mike Johnson's a beast. But Khabib is a beast. If, I can't wait. If, this if Michael Johnson doesn't let Khabib get close mm-hmm. and Khabib like to grapple him and Khabib loses confidence in his grappling and starts to stick with the hands. Yeah. Michael Johnson won that fight. Yeah. But so Michael Johnson's main main goal for this fight is to stop the first couple of takedowns. Okay. Make Khabib lose the desire to go for the takedown. Yeah. He has a three inch reach advantage i hope he uses it he mm. better be if he's smart i would use it yeah against oh man we'll see man that's gonna be a fun fight listen michael johnson can throw a monkey wrench into this whole light he could division. man yeah. yeah that's what I'm, I'm afraid he's gonna do yeah. but we'll see actually no i want more you drama want yeah, yeah I, want, I want that build up next fight rashad evans the return of rashad Ugh. sugar rashad evans at his new weight I class know. 185 he's fighting tim kennedy he's looking lean he's looking slender yeah, return of tim kennedy as yeah well. man this is the one i'm probably the the least excited about but uh i love rashad so i'm gonna go rashad evans i actually know who am i kidding tim kennedy okay decision i think rashad's gonna win okay um via decision uh rashad just had more experience in the last last couple of years yes tim kennedy's been out I think that's a big deal, bit major issue. Mm-hmm. And when they were both fighting and they were both like winning fights, I would have thought Rashad would have won that fight. Mm, you okay. know, so nah, even yeah, though they were yeah, at different yeah. weight classes, I would have thought Rashad won that fight if yeah. they ever did fight. It's true. So I'm going to keep that pick. Okay. I think I, I think I picked Rashad last on the last episode, but I'm going to go with Tim Kennedy. Just, okay. Yeah. You should. Yeah. Tim Kennedy it is. Okay. Uh, last one. Vicente Luque. Luque versus Muhammad. Yes. Muhammad Bilal. is a good fighter, Bilal. Yeah. But Luke is an assassin. His nickname is a silent assassin. Yeah. This guy's nasty. You know, this might I'm be going Luke first round knockout. This TKO. matchup my I'm you know why I'm excited for this matchup? Why? Because these nicknames are the greatest ever. 
the, the silent, silent assassin versus remember the name. And I'm gonna go with Muhammad just because <laughs> of that name. I'm gonna go for him. How is your nickname remember. like? It's one of those things where you're like you're brainwashing people. Yeah. My nickname is remember the name. Remember the name. Remember my name. I'm like oh, is my sh- nickname. I'm kind of I'm like I'm nervous. If I heard them, I'm like oh damn. Yeah, I will remember. He the must name. be good because <laughs> if I have to remember his name, he's gonna put someone out. He's gonna put someone to sleep, man. <laughs> remember yeah. the name. And he's not even. It's not even an option. You have to remember yeah, my I, name because that's my nickname. What's it, Bilal? So he's. Uh, this is what I'm. Get, uh, what's gonna happen first round? Bilal's gonna knock out Vicente, <laughs> and he's gonna wake up like, and he's gonna yell out Bilal, Bilal <laughs> Muhammad. Well, I don't know why I remember. I don't know why, but uh, there's how many fingers? Bilal, Muhammad, Muhammad. (laughs) That's what's gonna happen. Remember Uh, the name. uh, Remember, right? That, but the silent assassin versus remember the name. Yeah, I'm gonna go Bilal first round. Bilal's he's a beast, man. Yeah, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna after this. I'm gonna thank God I have UFC Fight Pass. I'm gonna look up their fights. (laughs) Please do and see what they're all about. Should have done it already. Uh, I should have. But Vicente Luque is is an animal. He's a manimal. Manimal. Yes, but I'm gonna pick Vicente. Via knockout. Okay. Uh, even though my dad's name is Muhammad, and uh, oh, it yes. would be disgraceful if I picked against. Which you did. But you know, you yeah. live in a, a new age, new world. You know. You're a material boy, and we're in a material world. Exactly. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <that's> <laughs> <in> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's this is my partner, guys. So uh, please excuse him. But yeah, man, it's gonna be a good, good weekend. I cannot wait. Uh, do you know what you're cooking over the weekend? What do you? What oh, are you we gotta of? discuss that off air. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because you're coming over still, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Jim Miller versus Alves. I'm picking Alves. Who are you picking? Oh shit, we still got more. Yeah, three more fights. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm picking done. Alves first time at 155. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Jim Miller just because he's New Jersey. Okay, I'm picking Alves. Uh, Natal versus Boch. Natal. Boch. I'm uh, picking decision. Natal as well. Knockout. Carmouche versus Chukagian. K. It sounds like a song. She's from New Jersey Chukagian. as well. Chukagian. Oh. Is I'm picking Chukagian. She's from uh, Jamal Patterson. I don't know. And so I think she's a... Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The blonde, yeah, the blonde fighter. Yeah, yeah, good for her. I'm going to go for Caitlin. Okay, my yeah. man, my man. Let's get it. New Jersey's going to come out with a huge, the East Coast coming out with wins, baby. East Coast. People from the West or anywhere else from the East probably hate me. <laughs> like, oh, you're always, you're biased. I am. <laughs> we don't get a lot of love. Yeah. So, <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Oh, we got more. <laughs> yeah, we went, we killed it no, today. I just wanted to move on. We went in with yeah. 205. We we're yeah, supposed man. to talk about like a lot of things. Hey, let's talk about a little NBA. Oh, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, you want, uh, my boy. Mm-hmm. Steph and Kirby. Steph with the shot, boy? Ooh, 13 threes, brother. When? And you know, you know, I missed that. Yeah, you missed that last <laughs> night. He, ki- I went to sleep. He let had like, when I went to sleep, he had five. Oh, let me look it up for you. I got you. You know why I got you? Because he's on my fantasy team. Oh, I have the ESPN app. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. I have the Yahoo one, which is way better because right, I have it mama. and you don't. Yeah, she's sleeping right now. But uh, 13 threes. What? 46 points, five rebounds, five assists, two steals. With the win, and it was it was one sixteen to one hundred six, so it's not like he was. Like, and they're playing the Pelicans. Yeah, the Pelicans are a good team right now. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, yeah, good enough. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> who, who am I kidding? Let's look up the record. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean they scored one hundred six points on the Warriors. Yeah. They must be a good team. Yeah, well, anyone could score. Their defense isn't as good because they go, they don't have Bogut this year, man. And they don't care about defense. They just care about outscoring you. Yeah. Anyway, how many threes is that? Thirteen, homeboy. That's tying the record, right? Yeah. Who is who? Curry, <laughs> no, I think he he broke the record or oh, tied because he, he, he. I thought it's Vince him. Carter had no, the no, no. It's Kobe with twelve, Curry with um thirteen. I forgot who's Vince third Carter on the has list. a record. He, he could might be like number like eleven threes or something. I know yeah. Vince Carter is up there with. Damn, <laughs> does Vince Carter have a three point record? record? <laughs> Let's. I'm googling it right now. NBA record for three points. Let's see what we got over here. So just keep talking. Yeah, man. So Damn, that's crazy, man. Good great. for him. Yeah. That just uh, shows the guy time and time again. You c- mm-hmm. He plays sucky one game. You think he's out. And yeah, then he made game. no threes his one game before yeah, that. Yeah, he lost yeah. his streak, right? He had a yeah, streak going. Yeah, he had like 100 plus games, games with which killed me because <laughs> I lost yeah. my, fantasy, my fantasy game last week. But moving on, yeah, man. So right now... Who's who's a top dog? Spurs look really good. Yeah. Same old. Kawhi Leonard. You is, know who looks pretty good? Who? I hate to say it. Your Bulls? The NYC. Nets. Oh, the Knicks? The Knicks. Yeah. They're looking pretty good, you, you man. You think so? They I are s- looking pretty good. They're all right. Uh, what's the name? Porzingis? Porzingis. Remember yeah. the name, Porzingis. I do, because I got him on my squad as that well. That guy's a beast. He's a, yo, 
<laughs> he's a, they he's need a to give him the ball machine. a lot more, yeah. man. They actually, you know what? They I, need to trade Carmel. Is that what you're about to say? No, 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 no. Well, yeah, that too. But I think if they, they could build up on this team, man, because yeah. they're, they're they are. You know what? Yeah, if they start, because they have two people that could dish out a lot. One is Derrick Rose, mm-hmm. who could dish out really well. That's your boy. Mm-hmm. And two, Joe Kim Noah, who could mm-hmm. dish out too. He's a passing big man. Uh-huh. That's my boy. And he's a scrapper. Yeah, you always yeah. need a you scrapper. You need one. You yeah. need someone like that. The thing is, can he hold? Can he maintain that scrappy? Type of play, you know yes. what I mean? Because he's, he's been injured, he's yeah. getting older. He's yeah. hurt a lot now, man. Even though, like, he's not he's not that mm-hmm. old, but it's it's taking its toll on him. Yeah, Carmelo, I feel like is a good fit on the team because he plays the 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 captain role. Yeah, he can inspire the players, motivate the players. At least that's what I'm hearing. I I think the reason why he's gonna be good is towards the end when they need someone to score. They need an X factor, a guaranteed it's score. Carmelo, yeah. yeah, that's why. That's why I like a lot of teams. Dude. Like Atlanta yeah. Falcons were good the past few years. The only reason why they can't get over the hump is because they didn't have anyone they could give the ball to. Like the Celtics, it. the Celtics are good this year, but I don't think they have that X factor, that superstar. No, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I think when that's it what comes they're missing. down to it, when yeah. you're facing Cleveland and LeBron's dropping bombs, yeah. you need another guy at his level exactly. to count on and and go one for one with yeah. him. And if you just have Isaiah Thomas Jr. You're hit, Jay Crowder. Yeah, you're you're in trouble. That's why yeah, yeah. The Spurs are going to be good because they have the Kawhi. But Kawhi-Lander. I feel like if Rose doesn't get hurt and continues to play yeah. in the playoffs. He will be that guy. I agree. Count on. If he could stay healthy, I that's feel like such this is a big his breakout year. Yeah, I hope so. Second breakout. I actually, this is the first time I'm kind of rooting for the Knicks because I like mostly all the players on yeah, the Knicks right Carmel. now. I actually like Carmelo. You don't I, like? Carmelo. I don't really like him. I don't yeah, know yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. You you don't just, like him. Uh, he yeah. just rubs you the wrong way. You know what? He's just like. Uh, I, and I hate to say it, but is he's just boyish like, good looks. He's not as good his as Kobe. He's he, no, he's not. He's not as good as LeBron. He, he's yeah. not as good as Dwayne Poor Wade. Guy. He's he, just right he, below there, but he thinks he's way better than those guys. He got caught in that that era with <sighs> Remember that Dwayne draft? Wade, the LeBron draft. James. Oh, my goodness. Even Chris Bosh. Yeah. Chris Bosh has a championship. So that must really uh, – it would it would bother me. Uh, like anyone competitive, if you didn't win the championship and anything that you you, you shot to be the best yeah, at, it's, it's, it's going it to eat at you. Yeah. yeah, but he has gold. Yeah. He has Lala, so that helps. And he has millions of dollars. He has so. millions of dollars. And he's a great player. Don't get me wrong. He's yeah. better than a lot of well, the he's players. But he's not your cup of tea. Yeah, I just yeah. don't care to watch him. I dig it. And I feel yeah. like if they traded him, they'd get maybe two pieces okay. that would fit the team a little better and mm. make it more cohesive. Maybe uh, a sixth man. Okay. Like a like a Jamal Crawford type guy yeah, coming off the bench. I get you. Um, or a like a Jason sp- Terry type player. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. Jason yeah, Terry? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Type guy, of player. Okay, not that Jason. guy would come off the bench for you. Yeah, and he, score like fifteen. Yeah, ride or die bench yeah. player. Yeah, I need a ride or die ble- bench player on the Knicks. <laughs> you do. Who would it be? <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll figure it out. But I don't think they're gonna move him. And he has a no trade clause. Yeah. So he ain't going nowhere. Nah, they should keep him. If anything, um. They just need to add some more, yeah. some more key players. They could build off Porzingis. Yeah. You know what? Their starters are good. Yeah. But they, they need, have a good nucleus. They need a better bench, maybe. Yeah, yeah. One more like ride or die bench player. We'll we'll, we'll see how that works. Yeah. I'm trying to think Lakers look good, man. They beat the yeah. they beat the Golden State Warriors. Chicago, man. Chicago looks good. They got but, Rondo. Yeah. They, Rondo's they're moving well. Player. Yeah. Rondo, Jimmy Butler. Who else is it? Dwayne Wade? D Wade. Yeah. I think D Wade's gonna take over the team. Slowly but surely. You think so? I uh, think you know so. what? Yeah. Even though right now they're everybody's saying no, it's Jimmy Butler's team. It's Jimmy. Yeah. So like Trust a, me. he's gonna pull a LeBron James. I feel like he's rejuvenated. Yeah. He's he's healthy finally. He's he's more excited to play because he's in this new his city. His city. Yeah. He's never and the the history behind the Bulls, man. You yeah. have to be excited to play yeah, for the Bulls. That's true. And you people always compared you to the greats like Michael Jordan. Anyway, yeah. now you're sitting in his. Playground, game yeah, to play. That's his building. I'm sure Dwayne Wade looked up to Michael Jordan as a kid, mm-hmm. and now he gets to play in the same arena, the same color jersey. It's good. He looks good in si- that. He looks good in the red and black. Oh. Man, I mean, he, he always good. looks good. Yeah. In the red and black. The, yeah. So, um, I think slowly but surely, okay. Dwayne Wade's star power and playing power, okay. will bring him back to a number one. Player. Do you think they're gonna contend for the for the Eastern Conference? Cohesion. Okay. Whether Dwayne Wade is the star or not, there needs to be cohesion, yeah. and if they can't cohesively play true maybe not yeah for the eastern conference i still don't think anyone's in the touch cleveland's cleveland. on the east yeah no one's such an yeah. uh, the west right now is kind of kind of yeah. it's golden state i the only reason why golden state's been losing is just because th- they haven't had that team that cohesion yeah. yet. so it's it's too early just like when the um, 
Scooby-Doo-Bops. Uh, no, no, the Bop. Miami Heat. They were, they went big on three. a few. Yeah, the big three. They weren't that good, but towards the end, they freaking turned up. I don't think a- anyone even expected them to win that that first year. I believe. I'm, uh, well, they got I to might the finals. Be, I might be wrong, but they did. They went to I the finals. I think because LeBron was on the team, you expect them to get yeah. far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But after the first couple of games, they're like, oh, man, this team. Yeah. Are, is this a big bust? Yeah, I think the Celtics were still uh, the team to beat in the yeah. in the East. So I'm not sure, but I, I could be wrong. Probably. But <laughs> probably not. I'm always right. <laughs> but uh, moving on, yes. Yeah, so Do I, you I, think Kevin Durant and the Warriors was a good move? I mean, it's a good move, Mm -hmm. but do you think that adding another Steph Curry type player, another Klay Thompson type player, you have another guy just like you guys? Kevin Durant is just like you guys, yeah. Except he's much taller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an ex. He's he's a great scorer, one of the best we have. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And but he's he's a perimeter shooter. Yeah. And the Warriors were filled with perimeter shooters. That's that's exactly what they did not necessarily Mm. need. That's true. I I think it's it's really too you feel early, me? but the the reason why um the only downfall of this is that to get rid of a lot of key players. Barbosa isn't on that team. Yeah. Mo Spates isn't on the team. Um, Your who bench else is there? weakened. Bogut, yeah. exactly. When you get to the playoffs, man, you're gonna need that bench. That yeah. bench is gonna make. Uh, so like, do you shift a Clay Thompson to be your sixth man, oh. and the leader of the bench? It, not right now. If like if it hits time, a I mean. fan, if it hits the fan, um, really? and they start losing, or if they lose, uh, uh, like more games, I don't think they need. Yeah, three guys like that on the court at the same yeah. time. I think they should because you're not moving Steph to the bench. Yeah, you're yeah. not moving KD so, to the bench. I w- w- from what I've been watching is that they keep Durant on for this the second squad coming in. He plays a little bit more minutes, and from, then he gets a yeah. rest, and then he comes back on later in the yeah, game. Yeah, that's why you uh, you could always interchange it. I think that's what they're trying to figure out, like what, what what's, what's best the for formula. This. Yeah, because when they they were getting their ass kicked by not getting the ass kicked, they were losing to the Thunder. Would Westbrook was going off, but the moment Westbrook sat down, it, <coughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. man, because they kept Kevin Durant and they had no one to score. If Oladipo isn't scoring, you really have and and yeah. Cantor. Like they're, they're Adams big man. good, but yeah. these guys like Adams is good when Westbrook's feeding him the ball. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, they're not really that much. They don't really have anyone that could take you off the dribble. Sure. Yeah. So but that's a problem. Yeah. I can't believe I agreed to you that. You disagree? You, you caught me. You caught me. You caught me with a sneak, a sneak cross. <laughs> you would lead me. You know what I'd like to see? Bulls versus Knicks in the playoffs. That would be fun. That'd be fun. That'd be right? fun. I, and I, I hope they hate each other too. There's drama there, yeah. written all over it. I hope so. Right? Yeah. I just want to see teams that hate each other. That's it. That we're old school. Mm-hmm. We just want to see teams that beef. Yeah. Have I beef. want to see Jimmy Butler look Derrick oh. Rose in the eye and say, "I took your team. Oh, I, I took your team. That's true. You were injured, and I took what that team. What are you team. doing? What? Why did you just puff up your chest, but in like a flamboyant way? Because that's what Jimmy Butler's about team. to do. Because <laughs> it's even worse when the guy's being flamboyant. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is. I don't want to lose to someone flamboyant. Yeah, that's true, man. Jerry Butler's rubbing through his hair. He's like, I took your team, yeah, I took man. Your team, baby boy. How All you like seductive, that? like. How's that taste? Yeah. And then Derrick Rose. Baby. I want to see how Derrick Rose handles that. Yeah. Well, you know what? They did beat Chicago they last did. week. Yeah. Not in the playoffs, though. No, nah, no. Nah, it's not in the playoffs. Different story. But. Dwayne Wade is in the playoffs on the he Bulls is. now. So it's exciting, man. Yeah. It's it's good. It's way. I, like I find myself watching a lot more basketball than football this season. Good. It's football good been man. down. Yeah, I, go Steelers. Well, you would technically because there's a lot more NBA games anyway. Yeah, well, technically, yes. Jackass. But <laughs> <who cares>? Jackass. <laughs> On that note, guys, I think we're good to go. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's call it a... Because I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. Let's call it a night. <laughs> Baby boy needs to eat, man. Okay, so guys, right, cool. let's uh, let's recap. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Go ahead, let's do it. UFC 205 Show the Art Pick'em Contest. Get it. Go to our website, showtheart.com. Mm. Click on the Z blog section. The first blog post on there. I'm leaving it up there you as the can't first miss one. It. You can't It'll miss say it. show the art pick 'em contest for UFC two oh five. Click on that. Read the rules. Go to the bottom. There's a link. Click on it. Mm-hmm. Type in your email so we know who to send the winning prize email to. And just fill out. It's just you select the win. Get it. You select what round? And you say, it's all drop down boxes. It's that you don't even easy, have to guys. type anything. Yeah. Honestly, it's that easy. It'll take you five minutes, less than that, if you're on, more than that if you're indecisive. Uh-huh. And uh, 
check it out. If you're if you don't know where to go, you can also check out our Instagram, Facebook. It's all on there as well. Boom. Share it. Let's blow this thing up. Win prizes. Yeah. We might even throw some extra crap in there. Yo, don't miss out on this, man. Free, if you, free guys. You know what? I'm going to say this right now. Oh, give it to us. If us. somebody goes uh-huh. 100% on the picks, okay, on the wins. Okay. On the wins. If somebody goes 100% on the wins, I got to throw in something extra. I thought you you. You just blue balled me. What I, I thought you were gonna be like, I'm gonna give them a free trip. Yeah, what should to I give New them? New Jersey. No, no, no. Uh, that's not get crazy. I'm, uh, no, no. I'm not a businessman <laughs> or a business man. I, I was just gonna I'm say. just a guy. We'll think about it. Maybe a, I'll throw in something big. Maybe a free gi. Ooh, a little hoodie. Yeah. If, if Ooh, a, a gi. A gi. Damn, dog. If you got to go 100%. With, with all the calls. With all? No, no, not with all the calls. At least all, all the, the wins. wins. That's hard. Yo, if someone if someone's gonna catch that, man, dude. If you no, because there's scammers out there, right? If someone could catch that, yeah, yeah, I do. Someone, it. Let's make it fun. Wow, all right. Yeah. Bet. If what you, happens if multiple people get it right, though? Well, then we we still have to pick. Uh, a winner. We'll, we'll do. We'll if you get a hundred percent right, we'll filter through like whoever calls more things after that. Yes. Yeah, so what oh, I what man, I did for dope. the regular tournament Call is me. I dig it. If you if there's a tie My after nipples the points, are hard. boom. If there's a tie after really the really hard. If there's a tie. <laughs> We go by who picked the most wins. Okay, bet. Not by total points. I get you. I so get you. if I have 78, you have 78 points, and I picked 10 fights correctly yeah. of the winners, and you only picked nine, yeah. I won. But what happens is they pick all the winners, right? Then if it's still a tie yeah. after that, then we go by finishes. Ah, then the okay. final one is the rounds. Okay, cool, so cool. If you there pick will more be a winner. Rounds, yeah, there, there will be a winner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then if there's still a draw, I'm just giving out more free yeah. stuff. Just raffle it. No, I'm, I'm going to have to give out two prizes. Damn. I like that. I'm oh, a man I can't of wait. Damn, I'm, I'm going to get two free geese. I'm going to get a free gi, three t shirts, uh-huh. board shorts, not board shorts, well, training shorts, a shirt, yeah. soaps. Yeah. Damn, man. Shout out to 93 Brand for hooking it up mm-hmm. and cool. donating shout out to. a free rash guard shorts and a t shirt uh-huh. to the first and second place prizes. Shout, shout out to Chimera Coffee for being a sponsor of this podcast and True. also donating bags of coffee for the winners. Hell yeah. Those are expensive bags of coffee they're giving. And they're good, man. We're not we don't just yeah. we don't have them like support us yeah. and have like ass coffee. Yeah. It's delicious, man. It's good. It's, it's not good, man. Ass coffee. Yeah, it's not like fa- the total opposite. It's not fart coffee. It. No, it's not it's not that either. <laughs> Um, and then shout out to the Arm Bar Soap Company for donating some bars of soap. Hell yeah. Cuz they got bars. They got bars on bars on bars. I'm about, to, I'm about to steal one actually. Yeah. But go okay. ahead. And uh, they're giving away bars of soap for the first and second place winners. Uh-huh. Shout out to us for giving away some free gear as well because, you know. Shout out to me because I, I got a voice of an angel. That's right. And if you like this podcast, please, guys, like, subscribe, subscribe on iTunes. iTunes. Please, please give us a good rating. Yeah, man. And write a little review that goes a long way. Stitcher. Yeah. iTunes. Anything. YouTube. Repost repost it. Share it. Mm-hmm. Tag us in. It makes – it does – Make our day. It does. That people like like yeah. it. Even like a comment. Yeah. Like, hey, we enjoyed your episode. That really yeah. it does make my day, honestly. Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Is that it? it gets me. We're hard. good. It gets you get you hard? What? What'd you say? You're disgusting. Uh, I out. didn't say that. Peace. Peace. Peace.